All right, everybody, Stan Smith from Iron Sharp K9, and we're about to do one of the most fun things that I enjoy doing with my dogs. It's that pit bull wall climb, but we don't have a pit bull. We got pretty boy boot. Yes, sir. And as you see, this is not what he was originally bred for. And we're going to show you the steps that we took to get an Aussie to do some pit bull stuff, people. See, I'll stay tuned. So a lot of you know, the Aussie is a herding dog and they are not originally to bred and to bite on this stuff. So a lot of times when I first started working with Boot, he'd put his mouth on and when I pull, he'd come off. So I was like, man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? And we had uh, the Pitbull Juice at the time and we got Rocco, hey, relax, and some other dogs and we had the wall climb for them. And I was like, hmm, let's see. Boot had enough drive to want to go chase something. He had enough drive to put his mouth on something. But we had to make him understand that he needs to hold on it. So what we started was simply just playing with him. Good boy. Ow. Yes. We got him interested in something like a bite pillow, a bite wedge, a tug, or whatever it is. And once he started biting and fighting, out. Then we developed a little system. Well, we didn't develop the system, but we got it off the ground just high enough that he had to hold on. So it was literally probably about this high. And I would tell him, Eat. and let him start pulling it. And then I'd slowly bring it up more. There we go. So he learned to put a full mouth on there and hold. Boop, out. So now after he got to about three foot, then I would take it to about four. So now he's gonna be hanging about a foot off the ground. So we'll back him up. Hey, left, left, relax. Eat. So he has to learn to hang and bite and hold. We're gonna help him out, get a full bite. If he comes off, he has to start over. Out. Bring him back. Nine. Relax. Eat. So then when he is biting, we'll reward it. So he understands that biting and holding is going to get that reward. And this was a constant process. Uh, Jamil, what? It probably took us about six months of doing this. And it was frustrating people. I'm like, I'm never gonna get him to do it. And then one day he was like, he just did it. And he held on and he, he won. And then now he knows that he has to jump higher and higher. And we didn't get frustrated. We didn't force this on him. We just wanted to motivate him to do a little bit more and a little bit more. Out. Back. Relax. Just because your dog was not originally bred for stuff does not mean that they cannot get outside of that box. But it does take consistency and it does take patience and it does take motivating that dog. We're gonna keep pushing them today. It's a pretty hot day out here. It's about 83, 83 and humid in Texas. He got that six at the beginning. I'm gonna see if he can get six five today. Boop out. So he is getting a little gas, so we just gonna raise it up there. Relax. And when it does get to these higher heights, people, and you don't know if your dog's gonna get it, you wanna make sure you follow him up so he's not getting up there and hitting the ground. We're not trying to injure our dogs. 
anything that we're doing, yes, this is dangerous. Anything that we're doing, they could potentially get hurt. They can get potentially hurt going and chasing a Frisbee. So everything we're doing is we're trying to strengthen these dogs, making them get stronger so the injury likelihood is less. So again, if you haven't done stuff like this with your dog, people, don't start at a height where your dog can get injured. Build your dog up. Make sure they got that muscle tone and that structure before you start pushing them to their limits. That's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah. Relax. Hey. As you know, people, when your dog is successful, you got to push him a little bit more. So we're trying to see if he can get to seven. Boot, can you? Not, hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Come on. He's, he's already trying to jump the gun. Relax. You got to raise it up, playboy. Back up. Back. Relax. So as you see, it's not too much taller than me because you know we're about six five. <sighs> Left. Enjoy that for a second and then we're gonna raise it up even more. How high is he gonna get today? This is crazy, people. I, I think I'll always have a booter. Out. Well, damn, boo. <laughs> well, damn, boo. He just been surprising us all weekend. He started, hey, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? He started, hey, hey, out. Relax. <laughs> He's a donkey. Alright, boo. Hey, that's that's up there, people. That is up there. Let's go. Relax. Let's go, Buddha! Hey, he gets to enjoy this one too. Oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha, oh, Buddha. So, this is one of those dilemmas. It's like, all right, do you end on that or do you see if you can push him a little bit more? And you already know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to raise it up. Out. Oh, that was eight? Yeah. Is that eight and a half look like? Yeah. Relax. Dog. And that's what I mean. You gotta make sure your dog does not hit the ground. We're not trying to injure our dog. Damn sure ain't trying to go to the vet for a broken leg. So, relax. What we're gonna do, nope, is especially since he's getting gassed, we're gonna lower it down to that height he got originally because we don't want to injure his confidence. He did it. I was, I was amazed. I was astonished by my dog. So I want to make sure they end on a very successful note. Nope. Hey. 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 Yes, sir. When we're doing stuff like this with our dogs, people, 
We want them to be successful. We want them to accomplish a mission. Are we going to push them outside of their comfort zone? Yes, we are. And the reason why we do that is because we push ourselves outside of our comfort zone every single day. Believe it or not, I actually hate being on camera. And people are always like, Stan, you're so good. It took practice. It took a lot of practice. It took a lot of mess ups. But then we got to the point where it's just press play and post. The dog kind of speaks for itself, and all we got to do is explain what's going on and why we're doing this with our dogs, people. I want my dogs to be the best that they can be. I want to have a lot of fun with my dogs, and I want them to know, my kids as well, if you put the time in, if you put the work in, the dog, yourself, will reach those goals, people. So, as always, we're going to get Creed out here. We're going to get some. He's probably going to get 11 foot today or something ridiculous, but we're just going to wrap up the educational side of this because Creed is a gangster. But Jamil did the same thing. He built his confidence up, showed the dog exactly what he wanted to do, and when that dog did amazing things, like knocking down people, getting into a fast heel, jumping up here 10 foot, Jamil, and y'all know Jamil's the most quiet person y'all ever going to see. He actually gets to like a level five decibel. He's like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> In all seriousness, people, just take care of your dog. Show them exactly what you want to do. And as always, just stay tuned, stay safe, stay sharp, and just take care of your dog. <laughs> There we go. And then I just heard him hanging like five feet for a little bit. Hey, you can do it probably four. 